Well, we're back at the bunker with Mick Butner. Mick, seven charges from round four, and there have been a few um, early pleas so far, so let's talk through those. First one is Frank Paul Nuasala for a grade one dangerous contact. Yeah, you can see by the footy, Jamie, uh, the unnecessary contact by Nuasala uh, to the back of player James uh, from the Titans, uh, who was certainly not expecting to be hit from behind uh, with such forceful contact. There was also definitely an unacceptable risk of injury to James, and, and you can see Nuasala could have avoided the contact. And with the early plea, Frank will be able to play for the Raiders against the Bulldogs this Monday at Belmore. Uh, next is Chase Stanley, grade one dangerous contact for this chicken wing tackle. Yes, you can see here with Stanley uh, grabbing the arm of Turner um, and applying the pressure, taking it beyond the normal range of movement. Uh, and there was certainly an unacceptable risk of injury to the South Sydney player, Cole Turner. The Bulldogs have taken the early plea with that one, so he'll be free to play against the Raiders. Now, there's also Ryan James. He will be fighting at the judiciary, a grade one dangerous contact. Yeah, that's for a leg twist on uh, Raiders player Jordan Rapana. And there were four other charges uh, throughout the round. Joel Thompson for a grade two careless high tackle. We have Nathan Ross from the Knights for a grade one dangerous contact. That was a chicken wing from their game against the Warriors. Parramatta's Manu Mahu with a grade one dangerous contact for his crusher tackle in the game against the West Tigers. Now he's looking at two weeks either way, unless of course found not guilty at judiciary. And the final charge is Marika Korobiti from the Melbourne Storm from last night's game against the Cronulla Sharks uh, for a grade one trip on the Sharks halfback, Chad Townsend. And he's likely to miss a match there. Um, as mentioned, those four players, um, they haven't entered pleas yet, so we can't talk too much about those. But there was a concerning act out of round four. Can we talk through that one? Yeah, Josh McGuire from the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, it was a concerning act in relation to his uh, lashing out in the play the ball with his upper arm tricep area, which made contact to the head of Rory Cross Jason, who was involved in the tackle. So the concerning part of this incident is the potential for injury to Cost Jason. And obviously, if the contact had been made with the elbow, uh, then this could well have led to a charge. OK, and Michael Cooper, he uh, escaped charge uh, for this incident during the Dragons-Panthers match. Yeah, it was a uh, crusher tackle on Josh Mansell. Uh, and you can see here, probably the main reason why he wasn't charged by the match review committee was due to the, uh, uh, there was no careless nature in his action. Uh, just the speed of which the incident took place just meant that uh, there wasn't a lot he could do here. Uh, and whilst there was flexion to the head or neck area, um, we didn't deem his actions careless. So uh, no charge applicable for Michael Cooper. Okay, well, thanks for joining us again, Mick. Another busy week for Match Review. Yeah, thanks, Amy.